This is Witchbase News for Friday the 28th of May 2021 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news... Odyssey receives its first major patch... David Braben addresses the community regarding Odyssey's launch problems and Frontier begin looking for some very specific feedback. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. Believe it or not Odyssey has only been out for a week and two days. What has to have been one of the most intense periods in the history of Elite Dangerous has made the last week feel quite... uh... long. As we reported last week the moment the expansion launched the feedback started rolling in thick and fast as Odyssey's many problems became readily apparent. Fortunately the hotfixes to the game also started appearing almost immediately and continued practically on a daily cycle. Thursday morning saw the first proper big patch arrive with the accompanying list of fixes. I've linked to the patch notes below so if there was something that was particularly bothering you check in there to see if it's been squashed yet. The framerate issues that have been one of the benchmarks of the Odyssey release are being targeted specifically with new code entering the game to gather telemetry for the development team to help better understand the performance issues being experienced by players. But overall the patch also addressed AI, audio, character animations, cosmetics, crashes, lighting and rendering etc to name just a few. As we've said before the state of Odyssey at launch is most definitely not where anyone would have wanted to be at this point. It's very clear the expansion really wasn't ready for launch just yet. However this is where we are and the best thing any of us can do is keep the feedback coming, keep submitting bug reports ...the link to the Frontier issue tracker is below and we can all help to get this fixed. On the subject of feedback and bug reports Frontier has been asking for very specific feedback through two unique channels. As was demonstrated by the patch on Thursday fixes across the board are continuing. Frontier have however asked for specific feedback to assist with issues around optimization and performance and the user interface redesign on the galaxy and system maps. For the optimization and performance issues there are some very specific but easy to locate and provide diagnostic details that Frontier are after and, unusually, they're asking for that information to be passed to a specific email address rather than pushed through the issue tracker as would normally be the case. If you are having significant frame rate and performance issues in the game this is understandably frustrating and the best thing you can do to get that situation resolved is to get the developers the information they need to diagnose the problem for you. That's exactly what this request from Frontier is designed to do. Away from performance issues the galaxy and system maps are possibly one of the most trafficked UI systems in the game and they went through a substantial redesign with the launch of Odyssey. That redesign has been the recipient of some of the more urgent feedback and Frontier have clearly heard that and are reacting. If you want to make sure your voice is heard in that feedback now is your chance. I've linked to Frontiers forum post regarding the feedback on optimization and UI changes below. There you'll find all the information you need to make a clear and concise post in the format that Frontier needs to get to the bottom of these issues in a timely manner. In the storm around the Odyssey launch Frontiers CEO and founder David Braben has been much more visible than usual. In just the last week David has appeared on a Frontier livestream and taken to the forums twice to firstly recognise and apologise for the issues players have been suffering and to further reassure the community that the teams at Frontier are working hard to resolve those issues. Whilst talking about the issues around Odyssey David did also mention the incredible achievements of Odyssey whilst also mentioning the sad fact that that achievement is being completely overshadowed by the launch problems and bugs. At the end of the post David promised that a roadmap of fixes and improvements would be published by the company by the 4th of June. That's Friday of next week. So how has your Odyssey experience been since Thursdays uber patch? Did it make a big difference to you and what would you like to see fixed next? Let us know in the comments below. 
That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.